All right, so <clears throat> seems like we got three missions here, two new ones, and then there's this one, and I don't know what mission this is. Okay. Okay. Oh. This is day one, All right? This is this is the start of day one, then day two, and then okay. I, I, all right, all right, all right. So what's this? Oh, these are special missions. Okay, I, I think I'll do those later. Those are kind of, you know, what's this? These are special missions as well. And we don't have these unlocked though, so there's no way we can do these. So I guess we'll do this. This is the, uh, the main story and we'll start from here. Switch to the specified character and begin the message. Mission, yeah. We gotta defeat Ryoki. Alright. Which is the Dragon Ball Z brought back to life sister. That's fine, I guess. Why is the, why, why, why is the dialogue up there, though? I jumped up and buried my face in Ryoki's bosom. The feel of her, the smell of her, they're just as I remember. My heart floods with sweet, soft warmth. <laughs> Ryobi approaches with downcast eyes. She must still be nervous. With that said, Ryoki gives Ryobi a big hug. What the fuck kind of lesbian shit is this? I rub my face into her chest. I let go of Ryoki and speak to her. She has the same beautiful black hair, kind eyes, clear skin, and... On further inspection, she also has a golden ring sparkling above her head. That's when it happens. As soon as I touch it... What the fuck? Alright! Her voice rumbles like the pits of hell. I, I, I don't understand what's going on here. She just went mad. We touched the halo. She turned evil. Like, what the fuck type of angel devil spawn is this shit? Another one? Not one, but two? Oh my god. Her furious voice pierces my body like a midsummer lightning strike. We got this masochist BDSM fuck over here. Just getting turned on and shit. That flurry of censored words, ah, it brings back memories. There's no doubt about it, it really is Ryoki. Ryobi stands rooted to the spot, her eyes as wide as her mouth. Oh, yeah, I get it. I don't quite get why, but after a certain point, Ryobi kept a slight distance from Ryoki. Before that, she followed Big Sis around more than I did, because that's why she didn't see what Ryoki's moods were like. When Ryobi started getting frustrated with her body, she would purposely try to provoke Ryoki into snapping at her. But making our kind and perfect sister snap was a challenge. We did everything from hanging bleep to having her drink bleep. Now all we have to do is grab her halo, it's so much easier. I want to hear her yell again, so I grab her halo once more. What happened? Ryoki's expression started to soften, soften again. So her halo is a toggle switch between naughty and nice. And if I touch it one more time, as I reach for it, she starts to walk away. I lose my balance and fall over. Oh, 
I look up to find Miyabi standing close by. Hey, battling. Battle time. I shouldn't have died so soon. Like, cause you could, you know, you know what? It's not like you could have stopped it. If you were meant to die, you were meant to die. Like, she says it like, you know, I slipped up a bit and I died. It's alright though. My sister talks with her former enemy about her own death. All I can do is listen. Ryoki had been a shinobi student of Gessen Girls Academy, just as Yumi was. Riona and I were still kids when we lost our parents. Ryoki being our big sis, she took care of us day to day. She was bright, kind, smart, and a hard worker. In our home, she was our shining star, our heroine. But not long after she was selected for a shinobi team, Ryoki came back as a corpse. We heard that Ryoki had died in battle against Miyabi, who went berserk from a certain secret ninja art. We signed on with Hebi Joe Cal Clandestine Girls Academy under Miyabi's leadership as part of a plot to take revenge on her, but we were wrong. <laughs> As the two of them speak happily, Riona sighs with relief. I do too. I'd worried that Sis and Miyabi might hold a grudge, but apparently not. Ryobi leaves the lively conversation behind. Is she really off to the bathroom or is she lying? Something feels off to me. I run deep into the forest, forcing my way through the trackless path. Once I'm alone, I approach a stream. I squat there. Sis apologized to Miyabi. As long as everyone's as long as everyone was apologizing, I should have done the same. Bowed my head to Sis right then and there, but I couldn't. I couldn't do it. I ran off because I couldn't hold it in. My feelings. I mean, not my pee. That was a lie. She started reminiscing and. It made me think back to the day, to that day, I couldn't be around her, not with that in my head. That day, that day, the day before Sis passed away, I said something to her, and then she was dead, and I could never take it back. And now she's here again. I'm grateful for, I'm grateful for that, so grateful. But if she really is Sis, then she has to remember what I said. It was about her. I know if I apologize now, she'll laugh and tell me not to worry about it, but I can't. What am I supposed to say? It wouldn't even matter what I said. She'd forgive me. Saint Sis. Perfect in every way. So much better than me. Again, always. I hurl a pebble into the stream as hard as I can. It cuts through the water and reaches the other side. I throw another one, and then more after that. But no matter how many I get across, my feelings stay right with me. Riona's face was just pure bliss when, I sh when she saw her again. Mine... Well, I did my best to fake it. With Sis gone, I was the one who worked as hard as I could to support Riona. Yeah, that's right. I have a sister complex. I didn't always, not back when I was a little kid, but around middle school I started to realize how much I needed her. I looked up to her like an, a, like an adoring puppy. Pitiful, I know. I was lame and sometimes when, we, when she wasn't there I was miserable, but what could I do? I stare at my reflection in the water. Sis told me I'd grown up, but all I see in that reflection is the same little girl who lost her. It's pretty sad. <laughs> it's kind of sad, <laughs> actually.
な何よ料理相手じゃ不満だったっていうわけバカ犬のあんたが偉そうにおまいガーどうして料理がバカ犬のお願いを聞いてあげなくちゃいけないのよバカ犬はバカ犬らしくそこでチンチンでもしてなさいチンチンチンチン相変わらず仲良し姉妹みたいねお姉ちゃん安心したわ仲良し姉妹なんかじゃないわよ料理はただバカ姉の両名を押し付けてるだけよ長女の誰かごめんねお姉ちゃんが死んじゃったからいけないのねべ別に謝らなくてもいいわよ病気お姉ちゃんはこうして生き返ったんだもん過去のことなんて絶対どうでもいいよちょっと待ってくださいね。ちょっと待ってくださいね。ちょっと待ってくださいね。ちょっと待ってくださいね。ちょっと待ってくださいね。ちょっと待ってくださいね。ちょっと待ってくださいね。ちょっと待ってくださいね。ちょっと待ってくださいね。That's a pretty good length, actually. Two guns. Alright. She gets fucking turned on when she gets attacked. Wow. Ugh. I need to parry, that's what I need to do. Oh well. I did block that though. I, I need to, I just need to parry, and I'm not parrying, so. I need to parry once. I'm probably gonna have to redo this, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm gonna transform though. She pulled a scroll from her. Oh my god, like, I, I don't understand. I was gonna transform her anyway, so. To be honest. Fuck out of here, bitch. Yeah, fuck out of here, bitch. Bitch, hold up, bitch. She fucking <laughs> skips, like, what the fuck? She has a shield and a gun! Bruh! That's OP as shit. That's overpowered. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, bend over just like that. Mm. She just rubs her titties together. And just, you know, just spread them out just like that. <laughs> you know, because that's what we want to see. Well, that's kind of what we want to see. But Jesus, that fan service, baby. So, what the fuck, man?
立派な忍びへの道を歩いてるって分かったわ。お姉ちゃんがいなくなった後もいっぱいいっぱい頑張ったのね偉いわよリオナちゃんお姉ちゃん大好き So does Ryobi not feel like left out in some way? I mean I, we know how she feels she feels unwanted and whatnot because she feels she's never good enough because Ryoki was, you know, the number one in the household. So when she was gone, it, it was kind of different. She thought she would be the leading sister, and that's not the case because Riona always wanted Ryoki, not Ryu Ryobi. それもそうねお姉ちゃん昇天しないように気をつけるわねえねえ料理ちゃんも遊んでもらいなよ絶対楽しいと思うよ遠慮するわどうして昔は料理ちゃんも病気お姉ちゃんと一緒によく遊んだでしょ今はそういう気分じゃないの。りょうびちゃん。遊ぶなら二人で遊んで。りょうびはちょっと一人になりたいから。せっかくまた三人で遊べると思ったのに。ごめんね、りょうび。でも、りょうびはまだ。Not really, if you consider getting that kind of ring good, then I guess. I mean, I, I hope we get to see more of the, the past and whatnot between those the, the girls. You know, I want to understand what, you know, what the issue is. What did she tell her? Like, that's what I really want to know. What did she tell her the day she died? Like, what did she tell her that day? Well, that's what I want to know. They need to show me what she said. <laughs> の調子よ、ゆみちゃん。ガンガン釣りまくっちゃいなさい。今度やわかめの取り風だよで。これは助かるな。干物とかにすれば、後の境にも持ち帰れるかもね。いっぱい食料を確保しとかなきゃ。お
She sounds like she's getting raped by the octopus. Fishing here without permission. <laughs> yeah, I cannot believe she just said that. No fishing here without permission. <laughs> Dancing in the summer sun. Time limit: six minutes and thirty seconds. All right, that shouldn't be too hard. I hope. <gasps> Yo, maybe get to use. Oh, she got to. Oh, like like that sword. Sort is humongous. Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that either. Jesus. Bitch. I didn't mean to do that. I meant that. I always do that by accident. I don't ever mean to do that, but it's whatever, really. She's so damn slow though. As OP she might be, but her damn sword is makes her so damn slow. Oh my lord! Nope! She's OP low key. Oh that's what her thing is. It's a fucking I was wondering, I was like, what is her move exactly? Like what am I shooting? Oh my god. Yeah, she's a force to be reckoned with in some way. Come here. Come here. Come here right now. All of you, come this way. Is that a, a soccer ball? Can I hit this? All right, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Who the fuck do you think you are, you little cunt? I gotta hit people with the soccer ball. Abra, she's Italian. That's that's Italian. That's French, I think. Wait, can I hit you with the ball? Hold on, leave me alone, bro. Can I hit you with the ball though? Can I can I hit you with the, the ball though? Oh my god. Let me hit you, let me hit you with the ball, bro. You know what? Fuck that, little cunt. Level three, baby. Get high. These fucking humongous ass bears, creep bastards. Oh, look. That's OP. If you charge it up, that's pretty overpowered. Ah, da 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 da. Hit her with the ball, haha, <laughs> bitch. All right, there we go. We beat the grunts in a matter of time. I was really, I was really fine. I found the the beach ball, and I just wanted to hit them with the ball, really. 
but it's okay. We randomly had to fight a bunch of grunts, so then that's what, you know, that was just random as fuck. They legitly just fought a bunch of grunts for a fishing spot. She legit said, this fishing spot is ours. Like, fuck you. Listen, Loli. You almost got raped by a fucking... an octopus. Alright, shut up. You have no right to talk. You can't be hungry. You almost got raped by an octopus. Like, that's it. Everybody else can eat but you because you almost got raped by an octopus. さゆりさんは、どうしても私たちに忍びの盆踊りをやってほしいみたいね。どうする こんなに素敵な時間を過ごせることは、そうそうありませんし、楽しめる時に楽しむのが一番だと思いますわ。みんなです、very Crimson Squad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scotty, it's time to get up and get to the next one. Lowly over there dancing her ass off. So there's two girls in this game with eye patches on their faces. So I'm assuming these two girls are snipers, cause. Like, why else do you have an eye patch on your face? I got a goddamn C. I don't even care about the grades I get. I really don't care about the grades I get. Like, I don't. I don't. Because I don't think they really matter. I don't think there's a trophy either to get uh, the best grade in all missions. So I don't care about that. I don't care. Two lowly characters with eye patches around at first. I'm assuming they're both pretty good with snippers. Because that just seems like what they would use, honestly. But you know. <laughs> 